gifted students. I just saw the X-Men trailer. And I actually just literally saw it uh, about a couple hours ago. Is that literally just saw it, or is that like a little while ago? That's a little while ago. Okay, well, I, I saw it a little while ago today, a couple hours ago, after work. And, wow, I didn't know they had a trailer all set up. I guess I wasn't paying attention too much. Um, uh, the X-Men franchise has never been my most favorite, but when I see them, I'm excited to see them. Oh, you know, I'm more of an Avenger, Spider-Man, Batman kind of movie guy, so uh, the X-Men is kind of secondary, but boy, wow. Um, first off, I loved First Class, and First Class was a weird an anomaly in film franchises because uh, the first two X-Men were excellent, and then the third one, not so much. Uh, there was some actually, I will say, there were some good performances, there were some nice moments in that movie, and the storyline was actually a pretty good idea, but it just did not come together well. Um, the director is just not my favorite director, and I don't think he, this was, I think this film was beyond his abilities. Um, and then X-Men Origins Wolverine uh, came out and was kind of terrible, and uh, which is weird. It was one of those movies where I walked out of it liking it, and then I started to think about it, and I realized, wow, this is a shitty movie. What the hell was I thinking? Was I drunk? Um, so, yeah, that was an even worse movie, actually. Um, so, yeah, when you got that kind of, like, series going, it's usually downhill. So, I guess I didn't have too many high expectations of uh, First Class, and then I saw that trailer. I was like, wow, this actually looks pretty awesome. Could this be good? And then it was fantastic. I would say First Class was as, just as good as the, the first two. I would dare say it was just as good as X2. Um, it was just as satisfying. It was beautifully shot and directed and acted uh, very well written. I loved it. Um, this one seems to be answering a lot of at least the design of it from uh, a casual standpoint. The... the um, the film seems to be designed to not only maybe reboot the series uh, anew, uh, but also maybe answer a lot of fanboy bitchy questions about the, the first class film. Like, oh, well, if this happened in this movie, then what about this? And then, uh, I think this film is probably set up to take care of those things. Uh, I see this film doing what I see happen in comic books all the time, or maybe even in the Star Trek, um, the J.M. Mate. Uh, the Abrams uh, Star Trek movie, uh, where we sort of reboot the franchise within the movies, uh, which is an old comic book trick, DC, you know, blah, 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 where, you know, we just can't start over. We have to totally have the characters sit around and fuck everything up by themselves, so we watch them do it. I don't know why that's entertaining, but uh, it happens in comics all the time. Uh, in films, uh, I hope there's at least a story. Uh, I, I did enjoy the Abrams uh, Star Trek, uh, but, you know, you only get one Star Trek. You can't do this every five, ten years when your franchise fizzles out. Um, and same thing with you, X-Men. If this is about this, you can't do it anymore. You have to start over. But, wow, I'm really excited. First off, I didn't think I'd see Patrick Stewart again as Professor X. I really did think he was kind of done with the role. Um, and it's nice to see uh, Wolverine again. He looks badass with those bullets in his chest. It's great seeing Ian McCallum. Uh, it, it, uh, I thought I'd, I thought I'd also be done with Anna Paquin is rogue. She's back. Uh, uh, Haley Berry is back at Storm. Uh, from what I gather, I don't know too much about this. I've actually been kind of like staying distant from it, so I don't know the details uh, of the story. I don't like digging too deep into these things. Um, I want to actually be surprised when I go see the movie. Uh, but it looks like from this trailer that uh, we have sort of an age of, you know, you know the, the X-Men's future has always been, like, this close away from being, you know, disastrous. And that seems to be the case here, where uh, maybe the events from the third movie uh, got worse. I don't know how Professor X is in his old, old body again. Maybe the, I'm sure that'll be explained. Uh, but... Everybody seems like they've been pushed as far as they can. My guess is these uh, cameos with, like, Storm, Iceman, Kitty Pride. Um, I'm willing to wager we'll probably see a lot of these characters in the front of the movie, maybe killed off or just about to be killed off, uh, where... And that, that's what leads uh, Professor X 
and Magneto sending Wolverine back uh, in time, which like, hey, that's always a good idea. Send your most trusted, most stable guy back in time. Um, so it, it seems like this takes place uh, during the early 70s. So we're getting Nixon. I swear to God, you know, Nixon shows up a lot in geeky sci-fi stuff. Uh, you know, he's in like Watchmen and Doctor Who. Um, he's a fun character to play with, uh, historically. Um, kind of an asshole, but, you know, really fascinating character as a president. Um, so I'm really excited to see him. I guess, you know, in between arguing with the Watchmen, he's got to deal with the X-Men. So, uh, I, I guess something happens in the, in the early 70s. I'm willing to wager, um, Professor X, because of a lot of the events, uh, of the late 60s and probably what has happened between him and Magneto and the, the, the like, uh, like the Vietnam era and a lot of the dissolution that happened in the late 60s and early 70s, uh, I'm willing to wager that has also affected Professor X and that has somehow affected the time stream, which is part of what, um, what uh, uh, Professor X's older self tells his younger self, you know, we need you to hope again. Uh, that was a pretty awesome line to end on. Uh, yeah, I'm sold. I'll be there. That's a great film. Uh, I hope it's as great as this trailer, because I'm, I'm pretty amped for it. Uh, what do you think? Did you like it? Are you impressed? Are you still waiting to see more? I don't know. But uh, throw, uh, throw your uh, ideas in the com uh, uh, comments below. Uh, if you want to do a response to this video, go ahead. I don't care. Anyway, push the button, Lindsay.